This is a time we need to ascend. We not only need to press through. Many people want to just put their head on the press through. No. The Lord is saying, lift your head and come up hither. Not in pride. Lift your eyes to the hill from which comes your help. Every day you don't get what you've done, he showed you mercy. And it's new every day. And you dare worship anyone but him. And by him, I mean Jesus. Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, Yahweh, the only living God. Good day, beloved, and thank you for joining me again today on Preach, Bill, Voice, Not an Echo. I am Ambassador Chantreau Davis. Thank you for joining me on this glorious day for as I begin to prophesy to the perplexities and give you the practicalities according to the word of God. I want you to hang with me because I have a mighty word from the Lord. The Lord is about to do a mighty thing and it is going to be his doing that you may know. Not just this world will know, but that you may know that he is the Lord, your God. In the name of Christ Jesus, uh, many of you have been feeling really weary. You have been feeling really tired. You have been feeling really drained. You have been really, feeling really hopeless. And the Lord says, not so. Believe me and believe his word and he's going to bring you up. Believe the word of God as it is spoken through the woman of God. And I begin to prophesy to the perplexities and give you the practicalities this day. I am moving forth in the spirit and I will do and say what the Lord has given me this day. I'm going to get right into this word that the Lord gave me as I got up this morning and begin to start my day in worship and prayer and working out. Um, I'm going to begin reading first and foremost, Ezekiel 37, 1 through 14. The hand of the Lord was up on me and carried me out in the spirit of the, uh, in, uh, carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley full of dry bones and caused me to pass by them. Round about. I'm passing by you this day. Round about. I want y'all to catch this, okay? This is spirit. And behold, there was a, a very main many, there were very many in open valley. And lo, they were very dry. These bones are very dry. They've been in this state and in this condition a while. And he said unto me, son of man, can these bones live? And I said, and answered the Lord and said, thou knowest, Lord, thou knowest. Again, he said unto me, prophesy unto these bones and say unto them, O ye dry bones. Hear the word of the Lord. I'm saying to you this day, hear the word of the Lord. Thus said the Lord God unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. And I will lay sinews upon you, and you will bring forth, bring up flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and ye shall live. You notice he keeps saying you shall leave. live. And ye shall know that I am the Lord, that you may know that he is the Lord. This is a covering. Okay, I'm going to go a whole other way, but a covering, okay? So I prophesied as I was commanded. And as I prophesied, there was a noise. And behold, a shaking. And the bones came together, bone to his bone. Uh, let me keep going. And when I beheld, lo, the sinews and the flesh came upon them. And the skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. The breath, the breath, the breath, a mighty breath is about to go forth. Then he said unto me, prophesy unto the wind. Prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, thus says the Lord God, come from the four winds, O breath, and breath upon these slain, that they may live. Come forth, O breath. So I prophesied as he had commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived and stood up. Many times did he tell you to live? On their feet. They stood up on their feet, an exceeding great army, an exceeding great army, who are standing on their feet. Then he said unto me, son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. This is spiritual and physical Israel. Come up. He broke down the wall of partition. Come up with those with the capacity to receive this word. Prepare yourself to be impregnated. Prepare yourself to conceive that you may bring forth. Prepare yourself to conceive that you may bring forth. Behold, they say, our bones are dried up and our hope is lost. We are cut off. For our parts. Many of, th many of you have been. Many of you have been condemned by your family member. Because they like to put you in remembrance of what you did. And you think you've been cut off for your part. You think you've done something so wrong. That he can't say awake. You think that he can't speak to the dead things in your life. And to the graves of your life. And to the things that have been dead in you for the law. For a long time. Because your family and the people you have around you. Like to put you in remembrance of what you used to do. I already told you the glory that's in your used to. Many of you think that you have dead things in your life. And the Lord said is there anything too hard for him to do. For I have commanded you to live, and he will command everything that you put your hands to to live. Let me continue in the scripture, okay? Uh, 
cut off of your parts. So many of you think you cut off of your parts and they put you in remembrance of what you did. There's nothing you've done so bad that you have not repented for that the Lord will not bring you up hither and allow him to do so for those of you who have not this day. Verse 12. Therefore prophesy and say unto them, Thus says the Lord God, Behold, O my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come out of your graves. You coming out of your graves. These are the dead places in your life. What your hands have touched, what you hope for, what you pray for, what you built up even in your mind, what you built up in your heart and your mind that's beautiful. It's coming out the grave this day. I'm prophesying to the perplexities and giving you the practicalities. And bring you into the land of Israel. This is the land of peace and milk and honey and everything that the Lord has promised. The promised land. The wealthy place. The, the land of abundance and provision. The land of glory and sweet rest. And you shall know that I'm the Lord when I have opened your grave. When I have opened your grave, O oh my people, and brought you up out of your graves. He's bringing you up out of your graves this day. And Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And shall put my spirit in you and you shall live and I shall place you in your own land. Then shall, shall you know that I, the Lord, have spoken it and I performed it, saith the Lord. Many of you, ah, boy, she, ah. Many of you, he's about to bring you out of your dead places. You think that those things that you've done are so bad and you got people around you and put you in remembrance and then your own conscience is condemning you. But if you will believe this word to stay, open your heart and your mind to the God that is the God of impossibilities. Nothing is too hard for him to do and you need to believe that this day. But for impossibility is a challenge to your faith and it causes the Lord your God to rise up for there is nothing too hard for him to do. So pre pre present that impossibility before the Lord. Present what you, imp you uh, have perceived as an impossibility before the Lord because he thrives on what you think is impossible for nothing is too hard for him to do. The Lord is speaking to the dead places in your life, the dead places in your creativity, the dead places in your love life, the dead places in your marriages, the dead places in your children, the dead places in your adventures, in your uh, business ventures. He's speaking to this day and he says awake. He told me to prophesy to the perplexities and give the practicality. And this is what the Lord said today. He said the name of this message is quiet. They've heard that all day. All already. Now hear this. Many of you have heard that you are low. You've heard that, you, uh, that you're not loved. You've heard that you are rejected. You've heard or been called stupid. Or you've been called harsh. Or you've been put down in many ways that many people cannot imagine. But the Lord said you have heard that you're sinful. You have heard that you're filthy. You have heard that you're ratchet. And the Lord said hear his word this day. You have heard that you will be limited as your family is limited. You have heard what nobody else in our family got that far. Well you think you're better than us. Or, or, or that you can only, only expect so much because you started late in your life. You have heard all these things. And the Lord told me to speak to what you haven't heard and to prophesy to the perplexities and speak to your spirit and prophesy to your spirit. You've heard that you're lazy. You've heard that you're just like your mom. You've heard that you're just like your dad. You've been called stupid. You've been called slow. You've been called limited. You've been called wretched. You've been called hateful. You've been called lazy. And you rebuke that. And we know that that's what they call you. We know that he knows that's what they called you. But what will you choose to answer to this day? You will live and be renewed this day. You will be regenerated this day. You will be reconstructed this day. You will be reinforced this day. You will be re-fortified this day if you will believe this word this day in the name of Christ Jesus. No longer will you shop in stores that you will, you will not only shop in stores, you will own stores. You will not only buy groceries, you will grow them and you will own stores. You will not just be person cars, you will have car dealerships and lots. You will be the lender and not the borrower. I prophesy in the name of Christ Jesus. You are the head and you are not the tail in the name of Jesus. You will not only be purchasing products, you will be the creator of products, product, productivity. For wisdom has dwelt with prudence and found out knowledge of witty inventions. You are inventors. You are investors. You are stockbrokers. You are owners. You are, you are builders and growers. In the, you know, heard this word of the Lord. Heard this word of the Lord. I prophesy to the perplexities and I'm giving you the practicalities. The Lord has said you are blessed in the city, blessed in the field, blessed in the street, blessed at home, blessed in your mind, blessed in your body. The memory of your righteous, uh, the righteous is blessed. And there's not a feeble one among you. Receive this word as I prophesy to your bones. I speak this over every male and female child. Uh, and, and young one that can hear this word that has the capacity to receive it. I'm prophesying to the dead places in your life according to Ezekiel, according to the graves. Come up out of the graves and I speak forth to the wind to the north, south, east, and west to breathe on all the Lord has put in you, to breathe what is implanted in you from the foundation of the earth, to breathe in, on what he implanted in you from the womb, to breathe upon your creativity, to breathe upon your love life, to breathe upon your love walk, to breathe upon the grace in you in every capacity that it comes in. 
woman of God. Woman of God. You are a woman of valor who shall do good things and prophesy good things. Who mouth shall sing the praises and utter the goodness of the Lord. Who shall do your husband good all the days of your life and not evil. Who is a prudent woman from the Lord. Who is wise and have a mouth and wisdom that the adversary can neither gain, say, nor resist. Who is a happy keeper and a mother of home to bring forth joyful children. Hallelujah. And I speak forth over your children for they are the heritage of the Lord. They are arrows in the Lord's hand and he will shoot them whithersoever he listed. They are kings and they are priests and they are queens and they are beautified and they are meek. And they are righteous and they are just. And they seek justice and love mercy. They are holy as Father God is holy. I prophesy over your bones and tell to live what the Lord has put in you this day. It shall manifest unhindered and unchecked by the outside force. Man of God, I thank you and you grow. I speak forth in the name of Jesus that you are a man of valor, a man of power, a man of wisdom, a king and a priest who will rule over your house well, who does your wife good, who loves her as Christ loves the church and not bitter against her, who washes her with the water of the word and builds her up, who glorifies her and cleans up and presents her spotless for yourself in the name of Jesus Christ, that you are not horse men. Your gaze is straight and you are a king and a warrior and your gaze is straight and you will not fall or will not fail in the things of the Lord. I prophesy to the bones of the males and the females in the body of Christ over the children. And I thank you that they will sing praises unto the Lord. They will be holy children of a royal priesthood. Ah, like I came into this year. A royal priesthood. They will not stumble in the dark as the heathen. They will not be caught up in these fires that lead to failure. They will not be condemned and brought into confusion, says the Lord this day. I'm prophesying. You shall come up at your graves and you shall manifest the glory that he has placed in you. It will not be hindered. It will not be detoured. It will not be delayed. It will not be denied. I speak forth over every mind and I decree and declare destroyed by fire every spiritual cage, every spiritual lid, every spiritual spiritual chain, every spiritual form of containment, every form of cloudiness set forth against your mind, every spirit of mind pollution set forth against your mind, I destroy by fire and I decree it is broken, it is null and void this day in the name of Jesus. I speak forth to every curse upon your hands and your feet and I decree and declare you are loosed in the name of Christ Jesus, for we escape free like a bird, for who the Son is set free is free indeed. You are free indeed in the name of Christ Jesus, Father, and in the name of your Father God. Excuse me, y'all. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy to the perplexity and I'm giving you the practicality. Speak forth. Look, keep your eyes lifted to the hill from whence cometh your help. For the Lord said, let's go back down to what the Lord said. He said, you're going to know this. Why did he say you're going to know this? He said, you will know. Let me read that for you again. And I shall put my spirit in you and you shall live and you shall pl and I shall place you in your own land. Then, then, then shall you know that I, the Lord, have spoken it. And performed it. He will perform these things. He will bring you up out of your grave. He is speaking to the dead places in you right now. Telling them to live this day. In the name of Jesus. I speak forth over your mind. You have the mind of Christ and hold the thoughts, feelings, and purposes of his heart. You are awakened and you are pure in your heart, pure in your mind. And you shall have pure expression of him. You shall think righteous thoughts. You shall think upon things that are lovely, that are pure, that are good report, that are virtue. Things that are sovereign shall be your thoughts. And you shall speak what your, thought, what your thoughts have conceived in the name of Jesus. We speak forth over your mouth. I thank you that you have a mouth and wisdom that the adversary can neither gain so nor resist. Your mouth speaks right words in due season and how forcible are your right words. You have a holy tongue. And that I can never go shit. A holy tongue of fire in the name of Jesus. And you pierce the veil of the unseen. You shall bring forth into the sea, says the Lord this day. I prophesy over your tongue and your hand shall get well. For the Lord said, I have given you the power to get the well. That is to seize it. It does not only uh, wealth getting hands. There are healing hands. There are anointed hands. There are quickening hands, said the Lord. Your hands are quickened. Lay hands. Stretch forth and pray for one another. For your hands are quickened this day in the name of Jesus. I speak forth to your belly. For out of it flows of living water. It is a bubbling brook full of the fire and purified refined water of the Lord. And it is a flowing brook. And I thank you that you have the counsel of God in your heart. And I thought the Lord has given you understanding and you will speak with that understanding. You will draw out all the counsel out of your heart and it will be right. Oh, that's not coming that infallible for it will be by the way of the spirit for there is none infallible but the Lord. But we will move as holy conduits where he will move through you to get to others unhindered, unchecked, unhappened by the outside force. Even in your very own flesh, says the Lord. I prophesy, you will arise, you will arise, you will arise and go higher 
says the Lord. Will you come up with him? Will you come up with him? For he's calling you to a higher place. So I prophesy, come up in the name of Jesus. And those with the capacity to receive this word, receive it in the name of Jesus this day. For the Lord said, quiet, you've heard that you're lazy. You've heard that you're no good. You've heard that somebody else couldn't do that. You've heard all those negative things. But will you hear the word of the Lord and what he says about you this day? Your feet are blessed in the name of Jesus. And everywhere you place, set your foot, he has given you. And every place you set your foot is blessed. And every set place you set your foot, you will take territory in the name of Christ Jesus. For he has spoken it over you this day. He has breathed upon this this day. And to the north, south, east, and west, I call forth the wind in the name of Christ Jesus to breathe upon your graves and to breathe upon your dead places and the dead places in your life, the dead places in your mind, the dead places in your heart, the dead places in your imagination, for he gives you a good imagination in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Receive this word. Receive this word and be quickened by it for the Lord has breathed up on you this day. He has heard the, 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 the cries of feeling like, let me go back to the scripture. I got to go right back to it. He's heard it. Where you feel like you are cut off for your part. We are lost and we are dried up and we are cut off for our part. What is your part? Cut off for what you've done. He said, I've placed your sin as far from the east to the west and I will bring them up no more. All of those, all of those of you who have truly repented, he ain't remembering it no more. Now, don't you revive it by talking about it. Don't revive it by remembering the good old days when you used to kick it. He's prophesying life into you to say that you may live. Excuse me. So I'm speaking forth the word of the God. But he said you have heard the negativity about you. You've heard that you've been unloved. You've heard that you've sinful. You heard that you're dirty. You've heard that nobody can fulfill the law. You've heard that you were filthy. You've heard that you're only human, which is a lie all by itself. You've heard that you're a horse. You've heard that you got kids out of wedlock. You've heard the things you've done wrong. But when you heard the word of the Lord this day, he said, quiet. They've heard that already. Tell them something they don't hear. Tell them something they have not heard. That he showed that he'd rather die than to live without you. And he's also shown that your, your position no longer determines your altitude. How high you go is, is the predicated upon the belief you have in God. For he is not limited. So your position and who you are and where somebody else has placed you no longer will determine your altitude. How high will you go with your Lord? But he's calling you up. Why? Because he makes you partake of his glory. Partakers of his goodness. Partake of his placement. Which is why you are seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Not will be. You are there. Will you receive this word to stay? For the Lord has spoken to the dead places in your life. He, he said over and over again that they feel they cannot live. They feel they cannot live. And I'm going to word this. I'm going to word y'all out with it every chance I get. The Lord says you shall not die but live. And even this day as he breathes breath upon your bone. I'm going to read again the definition of live, which we do against the witches and warlocks. We say they shall not live, but we speak to the beloved this day that you shall live. And I'm going to drill this in you every chance I get. And every bullet point that I read is a bullet point of the word live. And the Lord says you go live this day, for he has placed you in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. He has called you to triumph in Christ Jesus. He is faithful and he is the one who called you and he is the one who would do it. For he has breathed upon what he put in you in the name of Christ Jesus. And you go forth and you live. You're going to go forth and you're going to be productive. You're going to live a certain life that's going to be a prosperous life. You're going to pursue and be positive and satis a satisfying existence. You're going to go forth and you're going to have force, force and be alive. You're going to be able to support oneself well. And this is live. You should go forth and live as which is continue to live in until you endure and you will last. You will go forth and you will you will finish first hand. You will have first hand knowledge of states, situations, emotions, and sensations, says the Lord. For you shall live. You shall live for you will make one's home in live and abide in him. Yes, Lord. You will live. You will be charged with explosive, the luminous power. You should go forth and live. You will go forth having life. Life is to live and live abundantly in the name of Jesus. You will go forth and you will be current and you will be relevant. For you will start to speak to the things up in this earth. You will start to speak to the earth. You will start to speak to the weather. You will start to speak to the wind and it shall obey you in the name of Jesus. You will be abounding with life and energy. You will be charged with electricity. You will rebound readily whenever you stumble, but you shall not fall in the name of Jesus. You will be recorded in all things in the book of the life. For the Lord your God says so this day in the name of Jesus. You are not only going to shop in stores, you're going to be the owner of the store. You're not only going to just buy fresh vegetables, you're going to plant them. You're not only going to be buying the fine products, you're going to be creator and a manufacturer of them, says the Lord. He's speaking to your graves this day. And their graves is every dead thing in your life. He is told to live this day. Will you believe the word of the Lord? And speak the word only that anything contrary to this word will come to naught. For the Lord has quickened this word this day. He said, Shh, quiet. They've heard that. Now tell them when they hear this. This is what I say. I've called you beloved. I've called you blessed. 
I've called you beautiful. I called you prosperous. I called you holy. I called you sovereign. I called you the head and not the tail. I called you above and not beneath. I called you as a lender and not the borrower. I called you as the wealth and having all the wealth. I said I blessed your hands to get wealth. I said you had treasures of darkness to and hidden riches in secret places. He make known the hidden thing to you. He has given you wisdom that he hid up for you. And this is the time he has poured it out. For the Lord says, live. He has spoken to the dead things in your life. He has spoken to the things of grave. Give your old life a benediction and resurrect the things that you have put down, that you have given up on, that others have caused you to become hopeless in, in the name of Jesus. But he said he has quickened those dead things in your life. And I prophesy from the head of your toes that you are blessed from the crown of your head to the tip of your toes. It shall be well with you. With long life he has satisfied you and he shows you your, his salvation. You have to have refined sight physically and spiritually. You have the divine hearing physically and spiritually. I prophesy Prophesy, and I thank you that you will control your tongue, for you have ruled over your own spirit by way of the Holy Spirit. And I prophesy this to you this day, beloved, will you receive the word of God from the woman of God? For the Lord said this in my earth. He gave me the title and told me to prophesy to the dead things in you. I prophesy to the things that you have put down. I prophesy to marriages you think are dead. I prophesy for women who have settled into single, because that is not what he called you to be in the name of Jesus Christ. And I prophesy over your children. The destinies and the stars will not be stolen. They will not be mutated. They will not be perverted in the name of Christ. They are holy and beloved. And they are arrows of the Lord. And he shoots them wherever he listed. And he shoots them into blessing. He shoots them into prosperity. He shoots them into being kings and priests. He shoots them into, into being powerful leaders. He shoots them into compassion and mercy. He shoots them into the right way of living and being. And it shall be for you. And it shall be for your children. Says the Lord this day. I pray that you receive this word. The Lord said you've heard those things. Now will you hear the word of the Lord this day. From your sister. This day will you hear the word of the Lord. For I prophesy to every dead place. I prophesy to every dead thing. I prophesy to every dead marriage. And I command it to live in the name of Christ Jesus. For the Lord has quickened this word. And shall you believe him? Will you believe his report this day? Grace be with you, beloved. I'm going to get ready to minister another message. Share this message. For it is the heart of the Father and the Lord your God this day. Grace be with you. I love you all. So into the good ground of preach be a voice, not an echo, yet only as you have purposed in your heart. For God loves a cheerful giver. The truth, the truth of the word of God. Word of God. 1 Corinthians 9.11 reads, If we have sown into your spiritual things, is it a great thing if we shall reap your carnal things? Give only with purpose and cheer, for we desire fruit that will abound towards your account. We thank you for all of your support, seed of your time, seed of your prayers, and the purpose seed of your gifts. To give, visit our YouTube channel and click on the PayPal logo or go directly to PayPal using the following links or email preachbvne at yahoo.com. To listen to more messages and for the latest updates and offers, visit www.preachbvne.webs.com. Also view messages on the YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash C slash preach be a voice, not an echo ministry. Also like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Do the work of an evangelist. Watch it, then share it. Beloved, we wish above all things that you will prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prospers. Grace be with you. Thank you for joining us today on Preach, Be a Voice, Not an Echo. We pray that you were encouraged and empowered by today's message. Until next time, we encourage you to hang on to God's unchanging hand and preach. Grace be with you.